Hi guys, so here I am with another unboxing. This time we're gonna be doing uh, Luna's 2020 Seasons Greetings. And this is going to be my first Seasons Greetings. I got it yesterday. So I actually um, unboxed it, looked at everything, but uh, really quickly and not really thoroughly so that um, I could share it with you guys. So, um, to be honest, actually Luna is my first everything when it comes to K-pop. Uh, they're the first group that I actually did uh, fan kit stuff for. They're the first that I actually strove to complete their entire discography. So it's really nice and really exciting to receive a season's greetings because people talk about it all the time and um, I've just never been interested enough to um, make the purchase. So I'm pretty sure that pre-orders for this happened in very early December, which everybody was talking about was a little bit late. As you can tell, it has a really cute um, cake box style. Um, there, there were the cake symbols on the sides. It's supposed to look like a cake. I have not touched this. Um, I'm pretty sure that obviously you could carry it around like a cake box if you want, but I want to keep this as pristine as possible. <laughs> so when I was unboxing this yesterday by myself, excitedly and gleefully, as soon as I received it. Um, I noticed that um, it's actually a little bit tricky to get out of the box. So there's these little latches here, but the inside compartment is really weak and it feels like it's gonna rip. So I realized that the best thing to do was actually to open it from both sides and push it out from one side to the other. That was honestly the safest way to do it. So, if anybody has not yet received their season's greetings and wants to know, this is the tricky part. So, I'm gonna put this aside. And these are the contents. So the first thing we get are posters. I actually haven't looked at them yet. It is so cute and so festive and everybody has such silly hair, especially Chu and <laughs> Hyunjin. And how oh, so what is in the center? It's adorable and perfect for her. Um, I can see that Eve has a lot of different hair extensions, which is really cute. And you know what I realized? So, 2020 season's readings, obviously the photo show preceded uh, number three as a photo shoot, which I just watched today, and I am so taken aback. I feel so attacked from so many different sides. But Chu also has um, a pink hair streak. I feel like very similar to this color right here. So, hmm something to think about because Chu is known for copying Eve and obviously I'm not arguing and saying like oh yeah I mean season's greetings of all things is also canon in the Luniverse but just something I noticed so if I'm correct is this like the shorties unit and the talls unit I feel like that's how they were divided as well for um, limited XX photo cards. Look at Hyunjin, she does not care. In the face of Hyunjin's gun, she does not care. <laughs> they all have guns though. Does the previous one have guns? Oh, okay, Cherry and Hyunjin do. So these are the posters. The next thing I'm gonna look at is this, which kind of looks like a invitation or a greeting card or a thank you or something like that. Unfortunately, I cannot read it. First season's greetings. This is what it looks like on the inside. I obviously can read the numbers. It says 365 and it says 2020 and that's about it. So the next part is 
um, also a little bit tricky because I'm this is meant to be pulled out but because the paper is still stiff and not folded exactly it's best to push inwards because you'll feel these slanted slides of paper. Just push them inwards and make them flush at a 90 degree angle before removing this, else you're not going to be able to. You'll have to disassemble the whole box and it's not gonna look like a cute little cake when you open it and everything. So just make sure about that. So this is what the interior is like. It's so adorable, it's like a little present. I think that the first thing we're gonna do is likely look at the little photo cards. And this is quite a bit of photo cards. It reminded me of the meet and up photo card amount. There's like 60 or something ridiculous like that, like more than playing cards of each of the girls. So we'll go through these really quickly. Ooh. Okay, yeah, so we have like five of each girl. And then this part was hilarious to me, so. so. I have no idea where she got that scary unicorn, but it's perfect and she's so silly and I love her for it. Oops, hit my stand once again. Awesome. Huh. Okay, these are all pretty similar. I think the first three are probably taken at the same place and the last two are the taken at the same place. I mean, I know that, oh wait, we haven't looked at the back. So this is what the back looks like. I know that we haven't, um, I mean, discussed, but we all know that, oh, muscle's going through a lot and I have to say, I totally understand how awful anxiety is. And I was actually um, reading in the subreddit, people were like, ooh, Vivi. Okay, so I need to stop getting distracted, but people were in the subreddit talking about how like, oh, I don't understand. Hustle seems so bubbly and lively. She doesn't seem introverted at all. How can she have anxiety? And I'm, um, and obviously this person was not um, disrespectful with the way that they posed the question. They genuinely wanted to know. So a lot of people were great in answer and explained that like anxiety isn't like a, a personality trait, like far from it. It is unfortunately a mental illness and it is something that a lot of people struggle with these days. And so they were saying like um, Hustle's personality and how lively and how much of a leader and how strong she is for the rest of the members is not indicative of whether or not she's going to have anxiety like that. Um, obviously, she's had a lot of life changes as of the butterfly era and she just needs the time to really focus on herself. I do know some friends that have also gone through severe bouts of anxiety at a time and it was because of a lot of life changes. It was a lot of, I mean, that's not the only reason why you'll have anxiety and here I am rambling, but yeah, like it was, it was great that a lot of people on the subreddit gathered together and explained um, what anxiety is like and you know, how much of a toll it can take on people. Um, I just hope that Hustle is not hard on herself. God knows that I get so hard on myself when I'm feeling especially anxious, but I just hope that she can be as easy going on herself as possible um, so that she can know that we all love her, that the members love her, that I'm sure BBC loves her, and that we're all just waiting for her to get better. Oh, this looks really familiar to the pineapple cups, just with a different head, or like a different cap. The, the pineapple cups that Heejin and Hyunjin were posing with in their Orbit 2.0 kit. Ooh, what a different look. Of course, my bias.
All right. These are the photo cards. So the next thing I'm going to be looking at is uh, the sticker sheets for the planner that I'm never going to use for the planner that I don't even know if I'm going to be using just because I don't want to sully it with my terrible handwriting about um, a year full of appointments and schedules and deadlines, blah, blah, blah. So this is the making DVD. Um, I know that Subit's translated it so that we can all enjoy um, subtitles. Uh, I'm not gonna open this because all it is really is just a CD and I don't think there was anybody on the CD itself. <clears throat> so here are the stickers. They're so cute, they must not be used. So this is all just letters and really cute little emoticons, I guess, to show what you're feeling like. Honestly, I constantly feel like this little guy or this little guy. I'm over it or I am anxious. And then these are like the personalized stickers. I wish I could read these. I do not know what it says, but it's really cute and it also has their signatures. And the next thing is this beautiful, beautiful planner, this beautiful diary. Honestly, I was taken aback by how lovely this diary is, honestly. So it's clear and the paper inside is pink themed. This feels so nice. This unlatches so well. You don't have to push or pull, it's just, and then it's open. So, as usual, cake themed. So, I'll just show you a really quick run through of what everything looks like. Um, oh, I did not know that this was there. What is this for? Is this to put in your like favorite photo card? Is it to, oh, maybe it's to put in your like Orbit 2.0 uh, card, your membership card? I have no idea. Maybe it's, her, it's for your ID card as well, but I wouldn't really put it here. I'd put it in my wallet. So I think that's just a repeat of the poster. And then this is really cute. When I looked through this, I realized that it lists all the important dates for Luna. It does not, if you can see, it does not list any other important dates, which is nice because, you know, internationally that can really differ. It's like you're in orbit, you're a citizen of orbit. And these are the dates that you need to know. That's all you need to care about. And these are really cute. So the nice thing about this is that if you can see, it's also one of these where you can like un unlock it and probably add more paper if you wanted or re reuse it for other things. You know what would be interesting is if they offered like different diary fillers in the next couple years. Ooh, group photos. Oh, Yojin, this looks exactly like her Cinema Theory uh, promo, doesn't it? And here's the planner. So pretty much the planner is like this. It has all the little calendar dates so you can write tiny notes. And then it has one girl of the month. Uh -huh. And then it has weekly plans. So this planner, this diary is perfect for my needs, but I don't know if I can bear with actually using its contents. So each month basically just does this, exact same thing that it did with Eugen's month. So I'm just gonna consider, I'm just going to continue. And I like how I just called it Eugen's month. It's not December, it's Eugen's month. Oops, skipped you again, no. Oh. And this is really cute, of course. Next is Vivi. That's cute. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. She has it tied to her little pigtail. Ooh. This is a good look, like a good angle for her. It's such a silly photo, but it's also such a cute look. So I'm assuming that this is like all supposed to be like end of the year sleepover look. And the purple outfits, not the purple, the bluish outfits at the front of the planner is supposed to be like the New Year's party outfits, but these are like, they're bringing in the New Year's sleepover outfits. It's really cute. And I cannot help but think that Chu's hair is so, so, so cute and silly and perfect for her. I also like Go On's little curlers that are clearly not being used as curlers. It's just stuck to her hair. And next is Olivia. Last is Olivia. And there really isn't much. There's like different papers to use for doodling and drawing. A little spot to add your info and a little uh, pocket so that I can, I guess you could put your pens in it. Your pens and stationery. And this is the beautiful, beautiful diary or planner or whatever you'd like to call it. I love this so much and I honestly wish that I had two copies or something so that one I could use and one I could just keep forever. But I clearly didn't think about that. And last, I, I did not understand why they have this ribbon if they weren't gonna tie it like a little present and then I realized why. You have to use it to pull the calendar out of the box because it fits perfectly. So this I'm going to definitely use in my everyday. I, I have to use calendars constantly while I'm at work and sometimes I don't have even though I have two screens, I don't have enough screens to look at the calendars. So this is going to be perfect. I'll get to gaze on a beautiful girl's face from Luna and also stay on top of all my scheduling for my clients. So what struck me about these from the very beginning was how... Um, how much they reminded me of their solo era photos. I don't know what it is. I, I don't know if it's the quality of the image or just the, the way that the, the filtering was done, but they remind me perfectly of their solo era images and I could not stop thinking about them. So each month has one where it actually has a detailed date and then one where it's like, oh, I'm just here to look at that has a big picture of their party outfits and it's so nice and so cute. Next is Hyunjin. And honestly, I kind of love the little flip up style that Hustle has. She's only ever really done this in the um, Princess Styling 10 Cent Magazine. I've only really done that this time and that one time. Oh my gosh. Eugen is just growing up in front of our eyes. This really struck me as Vivi coming out as the full model. Like these pictures are such, look at that. Modeling posing, she knows, she knows what looks good. And then Kimlet is just stunning by staring into the camera. She's just good, she knows what to do. <clears throat> I kind of feel sad that they bl black and whited this. I mean, stylistically, it's a choice and it's good, um, but I feel like they really lost the potential of how cute their outfits would be because they didn't really use it for too much else besides tiny pictures in the planner. So now when it comes to these, you don't really know what color it is. Aww.
I don't know what it is. I think it's the chunky, it's the chunky jewelry and the hair that gives me uh, 80s vibes, like perfect 80s vibes. And this is the other thing I noticed. Olivia's is so much darker than everybody else's, Olivia's picture. It's really interesting. And then this picture is just stunner. I saw this on Twitter. I got spoiled a little while back, but it is so stunning. All right. And this was it, guys. Thank you so much for um, joining me on this journey. It has been lovely. And this is the Seasons Greetings 2020. Uh, we have number, sign, hashtag right around the corner. And obviously I'll be doing an unboxing for those albums when those come out right away. Um, but this is really exciting. This really does feel like the year of Luna is starting. And I cannot wait for all the good content we're going to be getting in the next couple of days. So I will see you all later. Bye-bye.